Welcome to the SNMP Collector Self-Certification Overview Video. The self-certification tool allows you to quickly and easily add support for new devices by creating new vendor certifications. This video demonstrates how to use each of the pages in the self-certification tool to create and deploy a new vendor certification. Let's start with some definitions that will help you understand what a vendor certification is. Each vendor certification is a set of metric definitions for a specific device containing vendor MIB, OIDs and metric definitions. A vendor certification is associated with a metric family. A metric definition is either the raw value of the MIB, OID or an expression combining multiple MIB, OIDs to derive the value that is associated with the metric. Metric families are a set of metrics that define all of the possible monitoring attributes for a particular component. Components are the physical or logical subdivisions of a device that can be individually monitored. The components can represent physical objects such as CPU, memory, and interfaces, or logical objects such as DNS response time, latency measurement, and jitter tests. Creating a new vendor certification is a multi-step process. We'll go through the process, taking a look at each tab and the required information for each step. To start using the self-certification tool, go to the Quick Start page in the portlet. The first page in the portlet contains an overview of the steps you must perform to complete this process. Each step corresponds to a page in the portlet. Go to the bottom of the page and pick an SNMP collector instance. The new vendor certification will be deployed here. Notice that the tool allows you to move to the next page when the required information is complete. On the Select Device page, select the device for the vendor certification. In this example, the host we'll add is an Alcatel switch. Add the necessary credentials. And then test communication to the device. Keep in mind that when you pick a device in the tool, you are binding the vendor certification to all devices with the same MIB, SIS. Object ID as the device you have chosen. Here, the option to create a new custom vendor certification is selected by default, but you can modify or delete any pre existing custom vendor certifications. We can now go to the Select Object ID page because we've completed the steps for selecting a device. On the left side, we have the MIB tree and the MIB file manager. Click the MIB file manager to access a repository that contains copies of the 750 plus MIB files shipped with the SNMP collector probe. You can use the options on this page to add new MIB files to the repository and to load additional files into the MIB tree. We return to the Select Object ID page. In this particular example, we'll choose some OIDs from the RFC 1213 MIB2 definition. Use the Search feature to locate IF Description. I will use IF Description to name the interface component. When you make a selection in the tree, information about the OID appears on the right, and you see the results of a GET operation. You can also perform a GET table operation. Since this is an OID we want to use, add IF description to the cart. We'll also select IF in octets and IF out octets. These are bytes in and bytes out measurements. Now let's look in the cart to see the selected OIDs. You must now select a metric family on the Select Metric Family page. This page contains a list of metric families. 
a search field you can use to locate items in the list, and a link that opens the SNMP device support tool. Use this tool to identify the metric family that contains metrics for your device. In this example, we already know what metric family we want to use. Remember, the device previously selected is an Alcatel switch. Since we are working with an interface, we'll select the interface metric family. On the right, you can see a list of information for all the metrics in the metric family. Over here you can see the bytes metric. and the names metric, which is the metric used to name our interfaces. You'll redefine the metric definitions for these metrics on the next page, and will essentially be creating a simple metric family for devices that match the sys, object, ID of the chosen device. Here is the create expression page. Here we'll replace the metric definitions for the bytes and names metrics with our own definitions. In the expressions, we can either associate a MIB, OID with a metric, or create an expression out of multiple expressions. First, choose the names metric, and then the expressions link. The expressions window appears. This window contains the numeric operators, variables, and functions you can use to build the expression. Select IF, description for the names metric. Test the expression to verify the results. Next, select the metric bytes to create its expression. In this case, we already know what the expression should be. Enter the expression directly in this text box. Now test the results. This expression will always equal 1, so it is easy to verify this change. Now we can go to the Deploy Certification page because the information for the custom vendor certification is complete. Give the vendor certification a name, and save it. The tool deploys the vendor certification to the SNMP Collector Server instance that was selected on the Getting Started page. This concludes the SNMP Collector Self-Certification Overview.